Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on CEMJQ, Camtura Corporation. If you follow my videos, you know I've done this one quite a few times, and judging by the amount of requests I still get on it, uh, it's clearly still a popular chart. Uh, this video won't be anything long, uh, but like I did with one of the charts yesterday, I just want to go over kind of what's going on with the chart, and I probably won't be doing any more updates until um, the event that needs to happen happens, just because there's really not much... Uh, you can say about the chart right now with the way it's been acting so uh, with that let's just dig in these two lines that you see here are from previous times I've done it uh, these were both resistances uh, when they both failed on these two uh, updates they became supports but now that they have failed to the downside meaning there's been closes below them both uh, they are back to being resistances and this one I'm just gonna get rid of that one but this one here uh, is going to play a, a role in what's going on right now. And basically what we have here, the price is doing for the past uh, couple of weeks here, is just simply uh, moving sideways in a consolidation channel. Uh, and with those, there's really not much you can comment on from a technical analysis standpoint besides uh, simply saying, you know, the price is going sideways, it's consolidating. Uh, and that's really what's been going on. Uh, the only other thing to really note is that this is occurring around uh, the 50-day simple moving average, which will hopefully be a good sign. Uh, what you don't want to see is for it to fall out of the bottom of the channel, which I'll draw, because if that happens, that would also imply that it's uh, falling further and further away from its 50-day simple moving average, uh, which isn't a good thing. Um, but luckily right now, and uh, what is currently holding up to be a good sign of strength is you can see that the price is holding up right in this area of uh, the moving average. As I've said before in other videos, support level, resistance levels, they're not specific exact prices. They're just zones, webs, whatever you want to call them. And you can clearly see that if we picture this as some sort of web like that, that surrounded this moving average, uh, the price is still holding up within it, which is good. So back to this channel, uh, the bottom of the channel, you know, th this could be up for debate. But what I'm going to do is just pretty much take one of these lows and draw that over. And move this up because if you look right here at this low back here then we've had quite a few times where the price has bounced off it so let me change this to green because this is the support level part of um, the channel but really what I was saying is until the price can make up its mind on what it wants to do and whether that be go to the downside and break through the bottom of the channel or head to the upside and break through uh, the top side of the channel you know not not much can be said you know price that's going back and forth like this uh, you know, sure, you could get some um, swing trades in here if you want to be a, you know, a quick trade, you know, buy down here, sell at the top. That's an option. But the majority of people, from my impression, that are, you know, playing this are in this for more of a longer term type hold. So uh, from that perspective, it's, it's totally a wait and see right now. Uh, we just got to see what the price wants to end up doing in regards to, you know, how it wants to move out of this channel. You know, theoretically, sure, it could just move sideways for the rest of the time and just keep going sideways, sideways. But eventually the price, something's going to happen that's going to force the price to go a direction. I don't know what direction that is. I wish I did. But unfortunately, charts, you know, aren't crystal balls like that. Um, all I know is that right now, you know, we're, we're in a holding pattern where, you know, something needs to happen. But what that is, I don't know. And, you know, what that will cause a price to do, you know, I'm not sure either. Obviously, if there's some favorable news that comes out, Ideally, you'd want to see it to the upside, and then not to state the obvious, but if something bad were to happen, you know, it's probably going to come out to the downside of the channel. But to all those people asking, hey, what's going on with the Kemptura chart? This is what's going on. It's going sideways, and there's not much else I can say besides that. Um, so if you do have any other questions, you know, feel free to ask me. But uh, more than likely, I'm just going to say, you know, it's channeling. We'll have to see what the price wants to do uh, as time goes on. But uh, for now. Sideways price action, not a bad thing. At the same time, not a good thing either. Totally neutral. Um, but the one thing that tilts it to the bull's advantage, I would say at this point in time, is we are channeling right around that 50-day simple moving average. So if I had to uh, give an advantage to somebody, I would say it's still in favor of the bulls uh, because of the location of where this channeling is happening. But you know, there's still work that needs to be done in order to pushing it through the upside. So if you do have any other questions on it, uh, please shoot me a message, but like I said, odds are I'm not going to have too much more to say other than it's going sideways. And also, if you haven't already, I'd, I'd encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you go there and sign up for the newsletter, 
you will be sent a free ebook, which has been getting very good reviews. And uh, with your subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, everything from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. And best part is it's all free, no strings attached. Uh, we've been making our members some good money, so it's worth at least uh, signing up for and giving it a try. One more time, this was C E M J Q. Thanks for listening.